Hi, good morning everybody. My name is Alison and I'd like to welcome you today to this micro teach. So the point of today's lesson is we're going to learn how to apply and the correct application of gel polish to the natural nail. Okay, so the first thing before we get started, I just want to run, want to run through a little bit of the housekeeping with you. So in the event of a fire alarm, which we're not actually due on today, but just in case, the emergency exit obviously is through the door you've come through this morning. We also, through that door, there is also the kitchen where you can have your dinner and you can obviously make yourself a drink, that's fine. Please feel free to do that at any time, although we will be having a break at 11 o'clock. Okay, so if anybody has any issues with hearing or anything like that, if you can't hear properly, then please feel free to come forward at any time. Okay, so a little bit about myself. I started in nails about 12 years ago. Um, I had children and decided I didn't want to go back to my previous career, career in travel, so I decided to start doing nails. So I've done it for 12 years and I feel now I'd like to be able to teach and give my knowledge that I've learned over the years to other people so they can learn how to do nails as well. So, I'm just going to go through a little bit of the outline of the course, what we're going to do. On your desks, you have got a course pack, okay? And in this course pack is full instructions on how to apply the gel polish. Um, it's also got a note section. You've also got a pen on your desk as well, so you can also make notes as we're going along. However, if you've got any questions to ask whatsoever, whatsoever then please feel free to ask. I'd rather go over things a couple of times, make sure it's clear in everybody's heads, okay? Also on your desk, you are going to have a nail tip, okay? Unfortunately, with the current restrictions, we can't work on live models, but we can work on these, which is just as good. You'll also have a colour, base coat, and a top coat. And you've each got an LED lamp as well, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the forward screen set up for us so you can all follow. Um, and I will then be coming around each of your person and checking what you're doing and we can troubleshoot anything that you've got there. Has anybody got any experience of nails already? Yes, Kathy. Yeah? Yeah, so, so you've worked in a salad already and you've done acrylic, yeah. So this is sort of like the natural progression that once you've got your acrylic sorted, you can also then go in to painting those acrylics with gel polish, or you can, as we're going to learn today, you can learn how to apply that gel polish to the natural nail. Okay? So I'm just going to set up the video. If you want to have a look through your notes first, and then once I've set the video up, I'll direct you to look at the screen and we can work along together. Thank you. Okay, everybody, so if you'd just like to look at the big screen at the front, uh, what I'd like you to do first is I'd like you to take your nail tip. Now, obviously, in the previous course, we learned how to prep the natural nail using a buffer and taking off that natural shine. So you've already got that done. Okay, what you can do is you can just take some alcohol wipe and with a lint-free pad, just give it a wipe to make sure there is no oil or dust or anything like that on your nail tip, okay? So once the nail is prepped, we're going to let that dry, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to take the base coat, all right? Um, and we're going to pull the brush out of the bottle. And as we're doing that, we're going to wipe either side of the stick of the nail of the brush, on the sides of the bottle and we're going to load the brush up wipe it on one side you've got a brush fully loaded on there okay and then what we're going to do is you're going to place the brush onto the nail and push the product forward and then swipe down the nail and you're going to do that right down the middle down the side and down the other side, okay? So you can see you've got a full coverage there. With gel polish, what you have to do as well is you have to actually sort of coat the tip like that, 
and cap it. Now what that does is that pulls that product over the end of your tip. With gel polish, gel can, polish can actually shrink under the light. Okay, so we need to get that full coverage of the nail. So once you've done that, is everybody up to date with that bit? Yeah, is that okay, Kathy? Of course, yeah, that's fine. We'll just hang five just a second. Don't worry about rushing, it's not a problem at all. Yeah, okay. So once you've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to pop it into our lamp and that'll be in there for 30 seconds. Now, some polishes, gel polishes, uh, actually take longer. Um, some gel polishes um, are 60 seconds. So what you need to do is obviously, depending on what product you're using, you will need to just check the uh, manufacturer's details. Okay, but the one we're using today is just a 30 second cure. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so once that is done, we are going to... So one second, we're going to pull that tip out there and that has got your base coat on. Okay, so as with the base coat, when we apply the colour, again, I'm going to open the bottle up and pull the brush out, wiping the neck of that brush as you're going through, wiping one side, and you've got one side of the brush that is fully loaded there. Okay, and again, like applying the base coat, we're going to pop the brush onto the nail and push it forward ever so slightly. And then with one sweep of the brush, go down the tip and then go down either side. Okay. If you need to go over it and go further up to your cuticle, that's absolutely fine. You can do that. Okay. And again, don't forget just to pull that colour over the end of the nail and cap it. Okay. And that's going to go in for another 30 second cure. Okay, so has anybody got any questions so far? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so what Kathy's just asked was um, what happens if you don't prep the nail correctly? If you don't co correctly prep the nail, what will happen is your base coat will not have the adhesion to the natural nail. Okay, so that's why we need to take off any sort of oils or anything like that and make sure there's no dust on there so that it makes a good, clean base for your base coat to go on to and that will give you maximum adhesion for the nail. Okay, so again, what we're going to do is we're going to repeat it. We're giving this two coats, so again, wipe your brush, load it up, place the nail, the nail polish on there, the gel polish and wipe down if you need to reload your brush you can do one like that and then one down the left side again and obviously again just cap the end of that okay and then that again goes in for 30 second cure okay so just a quick tip for anybody who does do nails um, but isn't sort of proficient with gel polish is obviously these are UV gels. So once you have done your nail, then you need to make sure that your lid is screwed on really, really well. Because if not, what will happen is the light from your, your lamp will actually harden the gel. And if you've got any around your, any around the, your bottle top, or in fact, if you've got your bottle open like that, it will actually cure it okay so just make sure that you do that okay any questions is anybody everything okay is everybody up to this stage perfect that's great lovely so lastly what we've got is we've got your um tip and that's painted so all we need to do now is top coat so again taking a top coat Again, make sure you've not too much loaded up onto your brush. Wipe the neck of the brush and top coat that nail. Okay. Down the middle and either side, like so. Okay, and this is the most important one for capping that nail there. 
okay and again put the lid on and then back in to cure for 30 seconds okay we'll just have a quick look at how that's absolutely perfect that's really really good that help and well done you've got right up to the cuticle without actually going into the cuticle because that's what will make that lift yeah and you've also remembered to cap yeah that's a really really good nail well done helen yeah kathy are you okay fantastic so we'll just wait for this to come out okay and here we have your finished nail okay um it's completely dry obviously this is a gel polish so it is dry when it comes out of there okay there we go so has anybody got any questions yes you can you can obviously once you have um before you put your top coat on if you would like to put any other decoration onto the nail so if you want to put some glitter on there you can do that's not a problem you would simply press it into the uncured gel and then put your top coat on because what happens is, is you have a sticky layer once you've cured it so that sticky layer will enable any sort of glitter to stick to that nail and then you can simply get a duster brush dust it off and then you can top coat it and that will then give you the finished result of some a glittery nail yeah okay yes if i was you i would go through and prep every single nail first on both hands and then start uh, i obviously start with um the right hand and work from the little finger right the way through to the, the thumb yeah okay right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to transfer the video i'm going to go back to the front of the class if you can just um have a quick tidy around on your workstations and then we're just going to finish off with some uh, any any other questions or feedback thank you okay thank you everybody okay so now that we've finished the course i'd like to just go through are there any other questions or any troubleshooting that you'd like to go through yeah as we've said you can prep the entire nails first rather than prepping painting um you're best doing all your prep in one go and then do all your base coat or your color and then all your top coat yeah that's fine okay yeah yeah um at the back of your course booklets there is actually a feedback form um, i'd be really really grateful if you could fill that in and um, what that does is that just gives me uh, an insight as to where I maybe can make any improvements. Um, if there's anything that you've not particularly understood, um, I obviously can go through that with you. My telephone number and email address and um, website details are on the bottom of your course booklet. So you can contact me at any time. If you'd like to send me some pictures of your work and then I can give you some feedback from there as well, um, because obviously, what you need to do now is you need to go away and practice the skills that we've done today. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I hope you have found it informative and I'm looking forward to teaching you on some more courses. Thank you for coming.